Hello, welcome to my channel of China and the world. My name is Man. Just to be clear, this channel is not sponsored by the Chinese government. I was born and raised in Hong Kong when it was a British colony and currently living in Australia, a Western democracy. I know too much about China and the West. In this channel, I am going to tell you the truths mainstream media have been hiding from you. Truths all of us should know. Hope you enjoy my channel. Today, I came across this funny report in Oriental News about the bombing of Nord Stream pipelines. Russian submarine gas pipeline Nord Stream 1 and 2 exploded in September last year. The New York Times reported the day before yesterday that U.S. officials reviewed new intelligence showing that the attack was carried out by a pro-Ukrainian group, but there was no evidence that the Ukrainian authorities were involved. Thing. Russian Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov questioned that the above reports were aimed at diverting attention and called on the United Nations to launch a transparent investigation. Kiev denies involvement, Russia calls for UN investigation. U.S. journalist questions New York Times source. Regarding which country the saboteurs came from, new intelligence shows that they may be Ukrainians or Russians and some even hold dual Russian-Ukrainian citizenships, but no Americans or British were involved. It is very likely that they were assisted by a group of senior divers who do not work for any country's military or intelligence agencies and planted bombs in the Basha pipeline. It cannot be ruled out that the perpetrators have received special training from a certain country in the past. As for Ukrainian presidential adviser Podolyak, he reiterated that Ukraine has absolutely nothing to do with the attack on Nord Stream. However, Seymour Hersh, a well-known investigative reporter in the United States, questioned the reliability of the sources of the New York Times and plans to release new investigation content next week. When asked by Russian media to comment on the above-mentioned reports, he only said, I don't make any comments. I am not an official. I write my own information. He said last month that during NATO's exercise in the Baltic Sea last summer, American divers taking advantage of this opportunity, explosives were placed near the Basia River, and the Norwegians were responsible for the detonation about three months after the incident. Kremlin reports helped the murderer divert attention. In addition, Peskov said on the same day that the reports related to Beishu were coordinated by foreign media and the attackers obviously wanted to divert attention. He also pointed out that he felt that the attack on Nord Stream was a heinous crime and called on the shareholder countries of Nord Stream and the United Nations to launch an urgent and transparent investigation, allowing all parties who can reveal the truth to participate. In addition to the New York Times, the German, Die Zeit, and other domestic media released an investigation report on the same day, which mentioned that the ship that carried out the bombing operation belonged to a company located in Poland and operated by two Ukrainians. Set sail from Rostock, Germany, but it was not thoroughly cleaned afterwards and traces of explosives were found on the table in the cabin. As for the operation, a captain, two divers, two diving assistants, and a doctor are in charge. Their true nationality is temporarily unknown, and the possibility of setting up a scheme to blame Ukraine cannot be ruled out. This report is laughable. Like a kid, who told a lie, must make up more lies to cover it. So tell your kid, don't lie. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more truths about China, truths that the mainstream media are hiding from you, please comment, like and share my videos. Talk to you soon.